slackness. In this video, we're going to look at complementary slackness in more general terms. So suppose we're given an optimal solution x star to the linear programming problem minimize C transpose x subject to these inequalities. Recall that there is a non-negative linear combination of these inequalities that gives C transpose x greater than or equal to the optimal value. There exists y1, y2 up to ym such that what? If you multiply the first constraint by y1, the ith constraint by yi, and so on, uh, you get the following. So if you do this, on the left hand side you get C transpose X and the right hand side you just get this and we chose Y1 up to YM to be such that this is equal to the optimal value in this case it's C transpose X star right since X star is optimal solution C transpose X star is optimal value so we can find values for Y1 up to YM satisfying this the thing is this left hand side is C transpose X for any X that satisfy all these constraints. In particular, if I plug in X star in here, I will get C transpose X star greater than or equal C transpose X star. We know that C transpose X star is the same as C transpose X star. So in fact, at X star, this is equality. All right. And what that means is, if ai transpose x star is strictly bigger than bi then what's going to happen well if yi is positive then what we'll get down here is in fact a strict inequality right because we are taking a non-negative linear combination of these inequalities which turn out to be equality at x star and if yi is positive, then we actually have an inequality that says the left-hand side is bigger than the right-hand side. So we won't be able to have equality here. So what that means is, for any i such that ai transpose x star is bigger than bi, yi has to be zero. Now, what does this give us? In a previous video, I say that this condition is called complementary slackness. In fact, we can write this in terms of the primal dual pair, and this is what we're going to do. The complementary slackness conditions are usually written in terms of the primal dual pair. All right, so let me get rid of this stuff first. Let me write down the dual. The dual is maximize y transpose b subject to y transpose a equal to c transpose y greater than or equal to zero. Now, the y1 up to ym we chose previously, it's going to be an optimal solution for this dual problem. And to make things less confusing, we will call that y star instead. So let y star be an optimal solution to, say this is called d. The dual problem is D and the primal problem is P. So the complementary slackness condition is going to say complementary slackness condition for X star and Y star are AI transpose X star greater than BI implies YI star equal to zero. Why are these conditions important? Well, they are important in telling us how we can look for a dual optimal solution. If we give an optimal solution for the primal problem, we can try to solve the dual problem here, but we can reduce the size of this problem if we knew that some of the inequalities here are strict because the corresponding variables in the dual problem will have to be set to zero when we are looking at the optimal solution. So if we plug in the optimal solution to the primal problem P, if we discover any inequalities that are held strict, then we can immediately set the corresponding dual variables to zero. And if we get lucky, the dual problem might be a lot easier to solve. 
And this is where the complementary slackness conditions will be useful.